What's up everyone, Doyler here, and I'm back for another one of my slightly longer guide videos. This time, I'm going to be covering the Demon Bell, its upgrade, what an energy funnel is, and how you can go about building one, as well as showing off at least one or two examples. <clears throat> Before I get started, I totally blanked on this for Tuesday morning's video, but I wanted to give a special shout out to Delgico, our newest supporter over on Patreon. Thanks for supporting me in the channel. If you do want to become a patron and get some decent rewards, like uh, account tune-up, stuff like that, be sure to click that link down in the description. Um, or yeah, just go to patreon.com slash idledoiler. Pretty easy to find. So with that said, this will be a slightly longer talking video covering Demon Bell, its upgrades, and like I said, how it all interacts. There will be plenty of text in the description with a TLDR, so feel free to check that out if you don't want to watch me ramble on. So, first up, the Demon Bell. In its base form, actually let's show an upgraded one, sorry, I forget that one's not upgraded. We've got one on our, we can just use it. So in its base form, the Demon Bell gives 18% attack, 14% HP, and 50 energy. Now what this 50 energy means is, your hero will have a round one active, because by default, heroes start with 50 energy. So, when you start with a Demon Bell, you'll fire off your active round one and a basic round two instead of the reverse. This is nice for heroes that want to get out a quick active attack, like maybe Amun Ra, um, used to be Ada, um, someone like Carry if you're trying to drain their carries first, things like that. Um, other than that, in its base form, the Demon Bell is basically just a nicer magic source, giving attack and HP instead of the skill damage. Now, upgrading the Demon Bell in Ormus's Workshop is where things start to really get interesting and some really fun late game strategies start to appear. So, at the Glittery level, the Demon Bell gains the Energy Outburst skill. And at the Glittery, it, gives, uh, it has a 100% chance to increase all allies by 10 energy and a 50% chance to increase all allies an extra 10 energy. So what this means is... At the cost of two Demon Bells, so the original plus the upgrade to make it glittery, you will get 7.5 energy on all of your allies on average per Demon Bell. So, if you were to start a round with, say, an Amun Ra with a glittery Demon Bell, she would fire off her active, and then any heroes that are slower than her would gain 10 energy plus another 50% for 10 energy. So they would have either 60 or 70 energy. Now, unfortunately, 60 or 70 energy doesn't do anything unless they somehow get hit once or twice before their turn. Then they might get off a slightly earlier active, but it could matter for turn two. They'll have slightly higher skill damage as they could have 120 energy instead of 100 energy. Now, Radiant Demon Bell has a 100% chance for 20 energy. So that means that for three Demon Bells, which is what it costs to make this one, you will get 20 energy guaranteed, which is 6.67 energy per Demon Bell. Still not that interesting because one Radiant Demon Bell is just going to get your other heroes to 70 energy. So again, you have pretty similar uh, caveats and nothing that interesting. Last up for the individual Demon Bells, we have Splendid which still has that 100% chance for 20 of Radiant, but also adds back the secondary effect of Glittery, which is the 50% chance for 10. So again, on average, you're getting 25 energy for four Demon Bells or 6.25 energy per Demon Bell. Now, as you can see, the Glittery Demon Bell on average is going to give you the most, I guess, energy per Demon Bell. There's nothing better to call it. That said, it is harder to run multiples since you would have to have a lot of glittery demon bells to almost equal one splendid demon bell. So two glittery demon bells might give you a little more energy than one splendid demon bell for the same cost, but you're going to have to take up two hero artifact slots. Now, the really interesting thing is when you start getting into the realm of eight demon bells. Why is that? Because that's when you start getting into the 50 energy range. Now, that means that if you have heroes who are quick, for example, and arguably the best hero for this, Rogan, 
if you have eight demon bells worth, eight demon bells worth of demon bells on your rogans, and they fire off their actives, your other heroes, like your damage dealers, your carries, and so on, will gain 50 energy, and then they will be able to carry a use, a real useful artifact, and still get a round one active. So the perfect example of this would be if you had. Sorry, let me before I cover an example. The reason that eight demon bells is the sort of the number to aim for is that is when you are able to guarantee 50 energy. So there are three real ways to go about it depending on how many artifact slots you want to take up as well as sort of how much energy you want. The first and the one I recommend the least is four glittery demon bells. So if we go back, if we carry four glittery demon bells, we will be guaranteed to get 40 energy and we will have four 50% chances for 10 energy. So we only need one of those to fire off. So on average, all of our heroes will gain 60 energy. That said, using four glittery team of bells means we only have two other artifacts remaining, so it's not quite worth it. The next and the most guaranteed way to go about this is two radiant and one glittery demon bell. So two radiant guarantees 40 energy. And then the glittery demon bell guarantees 10 energy. So there's your 50 energy. That extra 50% chance for energy doesn't even matter since you're guaranteeing yourself the 50 energy by using eight demon bells. Again, unfortunately it does require three heroes to carry a demon bell, but it may be worth considering if you are running something like triple Rogan or two Rogans and someone quick that doesn't mind holding on to a demon bell. Now the last way, and honestly the most common and most recommended way, is to just run two splendid demon bells. Now again, this will be eight demon bells, regular, glittery, radiant, splendid, times two for eight demon bells used. And this will give you 40 energy guaranteed and two 50% chances for 10 energy. Now this could mean that your heroes don't always get 50 energy, but it does mean you're only taking up two artifact slots to get that 50 energy that you want to fire off your round one actives. So a great example of using these demon bells is what's called an energy funnel. Now an energy funnel is can be great in PvP depending on your meta and what you're facing and is absolutely invaluable in higher difficulty, void vortex and somewhat realms gate. Now an energy funnel is this concept I've been discussing which is using heroes that don't necessarily need a strong damage artifact giving them eight demon bells worth of demon upgraded demon bells and funneling energy to your primary damage dealers. For example, say it ticks with an upgraded Punisher and a Russell with an upgraded AMB. So Russell can hold a splendid AMB and still get a round one active, which means A, he'll be in the air and B, he'll be doing his damage on round two earlier than their damage dealers and potentially killing heroes that can't even touch him. So for example, say you ran two Splendid Demon Bell Rogans and four Splendid AMB Russells. Kind of a crazy whale team, but let's just imagine we all had Parry or GDP money. What that would mean is your Russells could be in the air on round one, firing their actives on round two and obliterating the enemies either right after or right before they even get to fire off actives of their own. This is an incredibly fun strategy. Also works in stuff like PvE if you're running Delosium Army or just PvE in general and is the sort of the core strategy in a lot of the high-end Void Vortex pushes, as well as some of the um, arguably cheesier whale strats in PvP. Now, the last thing I want to cover is sort of the optimal Demon Bell upgrade path, as far as maximizing your energy per Demon Bell, not necessarily per slot. So, for example, if you only have one Demon Bell, all of your heroes get zero energy because it's not upgraded. If you have two, you can only have Glittery, which means you average 15 energy per hero. If you have three, your best bet is a Radiant since it guarantees 20 energy across the board. Four, your best bet is two Glitteries since you're going to average 30 energy across the board. Five is going to be Radiant plus Glittery, average of 35. Six, you're looking at either three Glittery or two Radiant. The Glittery will average 45 energy, but the Radiant will be a guaranteed 40 energy and only take up two slots. And finally, if you have seven Demon Bells, Technically, your best bet is two Glittery plus a Radiant, since it will average 50 energy, albeit on the slightly more RNG side. And again, eight Demon Bells. Like I said, your choices are two Splendid, two Radiant and a Glittery, or four Glittery Demon Bells. Now, personally, 
I don't have a ton of footage to show off as I'm just now about to buy another Demon Bell for this video. That said, I will have a lot more content on my main account showing off this energy funnel strategy as well as some Demon Bell shenanigans. That said, I've got one perfect clip, one perfect clip from my testing on Soul's Arc account that I will walk through and talk over showing exactly how this energy funnel works and Honestly, it's not the best example, but hopefully it shows it off in action, and it is at least fun to watch. Alright, so this will be the best example clip that I have. It is from my testing of, again, Soul's Arc account. Um, so I am running two Rogans with Splendid Demon Bells here. So on average, they will give out 50 energy to the other heroes on the team. Unfortunately, I did not get to RNG my way into feeding energy to the Russell. That said, I am going to feed energy to Amun-Ra, so even though she is running a defensive artifact like Fearless, she will be able to get off a turn 1 active in this case and give us some shields before the enemy is really able to attack and shred our team. So hopefully I didn't slow this down too much, but let's wait until the battle starts and again I will talk through exactly what is happening. All right, there we go. Sorry, I thought that would be a little quicker. So as you can see, both Rogans have full energy bars because the Demon Bell does give them that 50 extra energy. So our Drake is the fastest hero on the board. He does his basic attack. He's now got 100 energy, and he's about to absolutely get destroyed by that Shia attack as well as um, the Halora counterattack hits. So once our Drake gets completely demolished, unfortunately, we will see our two Rogans use those active attacks and the secondary effects of the Demon Bell will fire off. And again, I apologize. I thought 1.2 or 0.125x speed would be better than 0.25x, but maybe not quite. So our Drake goes down and our first Rogan fires off his active attack. As you can see, Russell and amun -Ra's energy bars both go up. Then the second Rogan does his active. And as you can see, amun -Ra now has a full energy bar. Unfortunately, the Russell doesn't, which would have helped a lot in this battle. But it means that we are going to get a round one active from that amun -Ra instead of just a, a normal basic attack, which honestly not that helpful from amun -Ra, um, especially against the Ishia and... Uh, Halora. So Shia attacks our Rogan. He takes a lot of damage. And I believe it's right here. Oh, nope. Sorry. The Rogans have to attack our Rogan as well. We actually end up winning this uh, battle, interestingly enough, which was fun. Boom. As you can see, Amira fires off that run. One active. Our team has shields. And it's just in time to deal with all of the active skills that are about to come for the opponent. So I know this was a little slow, but hopefully this shows off a almost frame-by-frame -frame example of what an energy funnel looks like and what some of the advantages might be. Note that some of the disadvantages might be that you now have two characters with full energy, so they're a prime target for carry to drain and or mark them. Alright, so that wraps it up for my Demon Bell and Energy Funnel Guide. Hopefully that covered any questions a lot of you have had or really whether or not you should be going for it down the line. I will again include in the description all of the math and recommendations that I said earlier in the video. But be sure to hit that subscribe button if you appreciate my more heavy guide content. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.